Hey, hi, this is Ashwini, Ashwini Dhanvijay. I am the regional sales lead of APAC at Security HQ. So I mainly look after the overall APAC region in terms of sales and business development and uh, try to understand customers' security requirement, be it a personal organization requirement and propose and try to find the right solution so that you know they can solve the whatever the challenges they are facing to defend themselves against any kind of cyber threat or cyber crime or you know hacking action which are anyways happening every day hi my name is aishwarya i work here as senior associate in human resource department and my uh, roles and responsibilities include uh, employee retention employee recruitment then we have uh, grievance handling operations so these all the responsibilities i look after Hi, I'm Vaishnavi Sharsikar. I work as a graduate analyst in CDC, that is Cyber Defense Center. So I work as a, like a light threats. I look over the light threats, I monitor them, I monitor the vulnerabilities. And then I recommend the clients to like what the steps are to be followed so that this vulnerabilities to be, uh, should not be there. This is the work uh, that I do. Hi, I'm Priyanka Lakhi. I'm the L&D manager of Security HQ. I'm responsible for employee growth and development, creating a robust platform for immense learning. When we say learning, there are different types of uh, cyber security courses. Formal learning is also included for these type of courses, Technic technical courses, there are online, offline courses. So I'm, I'm leading this particular vertical and trying my best to provide these learning opportunities to everyone. Hmm. Uh, so I think Ashwarya, uh, you are in cybersecurity industry, you are talking to new candidates, you know, students, experienced person in everyday life. Yeah. Okay. What are your th thoughts? Do you think, uh, is there enough inclusion of women in cybersecurity? So uh, when I joined this industry, uh, there was not enough inclusion of women. But um, as the years pass by, I see, a, you know, high amount of growth. The graph is just up and we have a lot of women uh, working in our uh, organization. Organization. So uh, basically, um, the change that we saw um, is, um, or the change that we made is encourage women to, you know, pursue more courses on cybersecurity, help them, uh, support them, mentor them. Also, we help them with, uh, you know, we advocated like pay equity uh, yeah. as men and women uh, would want in an, any organization. So this uh, helped us in uh, gender diversity as well. And uh, as we have uh, training and development in our organization we've provided enough support yes. so priyanka would you uh, you know enlighten us yeah, more definitely. on the definitely. learning and development i i would love to so uh, cyber security they provide incredible career uh, yes. prospects mm -hmm. not only to men but also to women yeah. mm -hmm. and the learning opportunities are also immense so we have for certain basic certifications like Comcia Network Plus, Security Plus, AWS, Active Directory courses available, QRadar, the tools which are used for cyber security, right. SIEF analyst. So um, Vaishnavi, you you might have um, uh, yeah, attempted this courses and yeah. certifications also. Yeah, yeah, right. I have definitely completed some courses like SC200 and then Comcia related and Network Plus related Courses. Yes. So this is these courses are like actually very helpful for me to uh, think or learn something and develop my skills in technical term. Right, right. Yeah. So this is the interest that I was talking yeah. about. So men and women, they reach out to me for these different types of learning programs. And women also uh, come with the same zeal and enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah. And when I see people uh, being selected in uh, cyber security, when I conduct training programs, I usually ask uh, women and men, why cyber security? Yeah. So yeah. the reason, common reason for both of them is interest. Okay. And that, yeah. that's something excites me, fascinates me that, okay, women are joining this field. The, the reason is interest. Correct. And that's where they also look forward to different types of learning programs. They have been certified as forensic analyst as well, yeah. uh, security analyst certifications. Right. We have uh, EC Council, yeah. which certifies in cyber security. So we have different certifications like CEH, CHFI, ECIH. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the data, the stats that I have uh, based on my experience over here, 
equal uh, learning programs that men and women they have attended yeah also yeah. it is very interesting when you said that when you ask the new joiners to when you know they have their interest in cyber security yeah. also we do ask that why did they choose cyber security while recruiting them yeah. and um, the same reason they gave us you know the interest um it uh, even if we uh, tell them that you know you have to we work 24 by 7 okay. um you know our organization works 24 by 7. so they are fine with it i mean they don't um, have any um, hiccups or you know any uh, they are not skeptical while you know we tell them that we, you have to work 24 by 7 so it's really uh, encouraging for us as well uh, when it comes from the candidates that they are ready to work 24 by 7 especially women candidates when you know um, there are a few you know challenges when it comes to transportation while traveling in the night and all but they are just up for it they are up for the game they are you know ready to work 24 by 7 yeah but i just uh, there is one thing because as you have said that you know there are a lot of certifications which are there for obviously the experienced one but uh, um, do you think you know there is a, a quite awareness about you know there is a career path or there is a field which is like cyber security because i have completed like my graduation from electronics and communication it has nothing to do with you know cyber security uh, i can but, add to this yeah. actually i graduated myself in cyber security field only okay, yeah. so it was like there now the colleges are there yeah. which are going to teach you uh, like particularly in cyber security okay. field so there are those yeah yeah definitely there so i would like to here, so now these graduates who directly come from college are selected via yeah, campus. Yeah, right. So uh, we have engineers also. Yeah, we <laughs> then completed engineering yeah. and now joining cyber security. Yeah. Uh, our post engineering, they have pursued certain certifications in cyber security. Right. Right. So I always make a note of it that if your education is not into security, what you have done to get into this field. So yeah, those basic right. certifications of Network Plus, Security Plus, they ensure that they complete those and then start searching any career opportunities. So they have this misconception, like mostly women's also, that uh, you know, being from an engineering background or from a non-techie background, you can't do such kind of you know jobs like cyber security because yeah. it's a because like cyber security seems like you know someone is sitting behind the screen with a hoodie and something <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. I must but say the image is quite different for a common man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like that. That's the perception. So, what I want to say that just get into it. Okay, just, just get here and right. then start learning. Obviously, having certifications, having a basic learning is advantage. That's there. But even if you're not not from a technical background, you know, just get into this industry and start learning. Yeah. There are learning, there are, uh, you know, challenges every day, every very, day. Very well because, said, Ashwini, because yeah. I, I believe our recruitment team uh, markets it uh, that way, that we yeah. do have learning programs, uh, training programs, yeah. complete planned here. Yes. You join us and we will prepare you for everything. Yes. So that's yes. how we have yeah. built that complete learning program over here as well at uh, Security HQ, and that's how we encourage people. Yeah. We encourage women. I remember the time when I joined the company because we do have a global presence, so you know there are offices in different locations. So there are women's there because they have this, uh, you know, graduate courses and everything. But here, where I live uh, in India, there are no such, you know, there are courses, yeah, courses yeah. but you courses now, like, exactly not have like, uh, you know, bachelor's and master's degrees yeah. as well. And that's when we saw the shift and the change yeah. when we had more women uh, working yeah. in security mm -hmm. HQ as compared to previous years. So that was a major change, game yeah. changer. So the current batch, uh, this reminds me of the current batch was undergoing the training program. I have 15 participants, okay. fresh okay. graduates. I have equity, men and women. Wow. So I have that's six fast. women and seven yeah. men. Right. That's really So that's how we have the equation right now. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how we are flourishing ahead. Yeah, right. Right. I think it's also important, uh, you know, that we should see women in the executive positions. It's not only the freshers, freshers so you yeah. understand everything. Because in, even in our company, I'm just giving an example. We have, you know, head of sales, you know, head of marketing. Right. Yeah, Even right. a few years back, the head of IT, they all were yeah. women. Right. So we just want to, you know, increase that ratio also where we want yes. to see women in all executives right. uh, position. I'm talking to customers every day. Okay. Even that trend is changing because now I could see that a lot of CISOs, 
CTOs, even the head of IT security, they all are women. Oh, I feel yeah. so proud and, you know, empowered. excited <laughs> and empowered yeah. that I'm speaking to someone who's women and she is like, in a like a, at a CTO or CISO position. And actually so, that position actually inspires other girls to like work so hard yeah. that we reach there yeah. and we just come like men to men like equally. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's where security of women. Yeah, please, just go ahead. <laughs> I'll add mine later. I think in security HQ, um, we have a definition of career path. Uh, we yeah. have, a, you know, we have a set, uh, you know, certifications and that, that basically helps the employer as well as the organization which which I think helps you know um, them to uh, see their career path see their yeah. growth you know right. see their wo- where they want to reach see how they want to reach there so it's it's very um, uh, it's a setup for them hmm. and I think that probably attracts the talent here mm, that's good that's very important that itself is a best retention strategy yes yes. yes because I seeing uh, the marketing head and the IT head data analytics head being women Mm -hmm. that would also somewhere uh, as you said empower me to be here in this field for a longer period of time yes Yes. and that's what we have seen here at security hq also people who have joined as graduates today are senior managers today are heading the departments that's how we have everything defined properly you know uh, when i joined the security hq company so there were like only few girls like we right. can count in single hand like yeah. you know, there were literally yeah. few girls but okay. i was like nah, we will wait for a while there will be more women employees and now i can see the numbers are increasing i yeah. can see the numbers yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. more power to women yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just that we just i want to you know be ideal for someone who can just look at me and say that you know i want to be there i know i'm not at that position right now but i want to just go there and someone young women or young talent just you know to follow people yeah. like us yeah true glad i'm 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 happy i'm glad i'm, I'm a part of this uh, industry <laughs> and I, I can see a great uh, career growth ahead for me yes. so